Japanese Okay, fight. ladies and gentlemen. I want to point out the hypocrisy of the left-wing media who have talked about the oppression, ethnic cleansing and apartheid treatment of Israel against Palestine and of the occupation of the Palestine territories. I want to point out to you that the left-wing media lies to you, distorts your knowledge of the world and lives by double standards. Just this month, 120,000 Christians were ethnically cleansed from Azerbaijan. They were driven from their homes in Nang Nango Aksak, Nango Karabakh, or otherwise known as Aksak. Ladies and gentlemen, there was no Western outcry. There were no celebrities jumping on Twitter to decry the ethnic cleansing. Man, woman, child, old, young, abled, disabled, civilian and fighter. 120,000 Christians were driven from their homes and all of your left-wing media celebrities and commentators had absolutely nothing to say about it. Why? Why? Because they were Christians being ethnically cleansed by Muslims and it doesn't suit the narrative to talk about it. It doesn't suit the narrative to get you all worked up about it, to stand in solidarity with Armenian Christians about it. Northern Cyprus is currently occupied by the Turkish state that in the 1970s that in the 1970s drove its Christian populations out of northern Cyprus. Left-wing militants, left-wing speakers, where's all your solidarity for the people of northern Cyprus? Where are the cries to end the Turkish occupation of northern Cyprus from the BBC, from the Guardian, from CNN? from the British Parliament, from the Democrats. Why are they not speaking about it? Why? Because it does not serve the narrative to point out to you that in the 1970s Christians drove 10,000 Christians, sorry, Muslims drove 10,000 Christians from their homes the and is still occupying northern Cyprus today, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, well, do you not hear? about the bombings and the anti-Christian pogroms. The bombings and the anti-Christian pogroms that happen in Pakistan and Egypt. Churches bombed. Christian communities attacked in anti-Christian riots. They call me a liar. Go and check it for yourself and see See who is lying, ladies and gentlemen. What about? Why don't you hear about it? Why? Because it doesn't serve the narrative to tell you that Christian minorities are persecuted.
heard across the entire Islamic world. Christians, Christians, I want to tell you that if the world will not speak up and stand up for your brothers and sisters, then that is exactly what you should do. You should stand up for. You should raise a voice for your persecuted brothers and sisters because there is no government backing the church and so the only one backing the church is the church itself and that means that our solidarity is with all Christians everywhere against every opponent this isn't just solidarity against Islamic persecution but it's against the Buddhist persecution of Karen Christians in Burma the communist persecution of Christians in Cuba Venezuela China and North Korea it's against Hindu persecution of Christians in India wake up church your denominations mean nothing when our brothers and sisters are dying for the faith unite organize train mobilize resist use the fullness of the law to your advantage any questions, any questions? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.